Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm a little bit of a mess over here. My house is a mess, but I wanted to bring you guys this grocery haul. It's from Aldi and Walmart. So Aldi was about $100, and my mom actually went and picked the groceries up for us. It's all mostly, a lot of it is Thanksgiving stuff. And then Walmart was about $185. I took out a few things that I'm going to do a separate video for stocking stuffers, but I think after I subtract those from the total, it's about $185. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys um, enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. So starting with the Aldi stuff, this is a 10 pound, 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. So a lot of this is Thanksgiving, especially the Aldi stuff. So that's just for the mashed potatoes. Three bags of sweet potatoes. Uh, three bulbs of garlic. Then here we have three bags of carrots. I do the turkey recipe from Laura in the kitchen, and I highly recommend it if you guys, especially if you have like have issues with like dry turkeys or whatever, it's so moist and delicious. Um, it's a YouTube channel, Laura, Laura in the kitchen, so love that. Cooper's with his little wagon, if you guys hear him in the background, that's actually something we picked up at Walmart. My nephew is going to be here for Thanksgiving, and he's um, still a little kid. Um, well, actually, no, I think he's I think he's five. So, um, but he's a picky eater, and he really likes broccoli. So, we decided to do that special for him. Um, how many? Five bags of celery. So, this is also going to be Cooper. You so loud? You so loud with that wagon for the turkey and for the stuffing. You can come in here and get him, mom. Okay. Um. And then we got, my mom is here obviously, um, two bags of onions, so that's again going to be like multiple different things, and two bags of the Honeycrisp apples, and those are going to be for the pumpkin pies. Well, I guess probably just one pumpkin pie, we'll see. I'm not sure how many apples in each bag. Um, so then let's do the canned items. So we have two back here, two right here, and one here, so five cans of pumpkin for pumpkin pies. That's a big favorite for Thanksgiving around here. So we're doing lots of pumpkin pies. A can of the jellied cranberry sauce and a can of the whole berry cranberry sauce. Five cans of evaporated milk because pumpkin pie. Four cans of the cream of mushroom soup because of the cream bean casserole. Um, I didn't grow up traditionally eating corn casserole on Thanksgiving, but my husband did, so we have, um, we do that now where we do the corn casserole. So I've got four cans, sorry guys, my husband's not here to hold the camera while I talk, so I'm doing the best I can, four cans of corn. Um, we are doing, planning on doing the gravy, like making it, but, um, that sometimes doesn't always go as planned and something you kind of, it's what you mess up on it, you know, so two jars of this turkey gravy just in case things don't go as planned and then two of these cans of the french fried onions for the green bean casserole and I have some flour already but I'm running a little low so a bag of the whole purpose flour, okay Stretching over that table pregnant and holding the camera and talking was a challenge. <laughs> All right, so then we have, I think four, yeah, four of these pie, deep dish pie crusts that come already in the um, disposable pan that you can get in the freezer section. And then four of these roll out refrigerated pie crusts that um, we'll use too. We're feeding, I don't know if I mentioned this, including the kids, eight people. Um, six adults and then two kids. So, um, Jiffy Mix for, sorry guys, I messed up, I hit the can to take a picture. <laughs> oh, okay, Jiffy Mix for the corn casserole. Um, these sure are better when my husband's filming, aren't they? <laughs> um, this, I'm making like a brownie pie, so um, some semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, a bag of pecans, which is also for that brownie pie, um, some mini marshmallows for the sweet potatoes, and then some two bags of brown sugar. 
Lots of butter, um, that's part of, I separate the skin from the turkey and shove it in there, <laughs> along with some herbs, that's part of the recipe. So lots of butter for that and just other things. So um, there's four sticks in each box and I got four boxes of salted and four boxes of unsalted. And that is everything from, hi Bubba, everything from Aldi. So now we're gonna go into the Walmart things. So I tried to sort this kind of, but I don't think I did a very good job. So we'll just kind of work our way through it, but some of it might not make a lot of sense. Just a, I've been wanting some cereal, so I decided to get a big generic bag of the Lucky Charms from the Walmart brand. These are for Thanksgiving. Um, I definitely recommend these for Thanksgiving. Um, if you make the homemade rolls, there's nothing wrong with that. That's totally delicious. But this is kind of has the same effect of homemade rolls because they rise and everything, um, and they're like it's like dough, um, but not as much work. And then my mom saw this and wanted to pick up this Hershey cream pie. Um, we are decided to take. This is the first time I've done it. Normally we do like the actual, where we do all of this ourselves, but this time we decided, but this time we decided to buy the bagged already, I think it's even, isn't this already seasoned too? Yes. Yes. So, I haven't done this before, my mom I think has, so we're doing that as a shortcut for the stuffing. A lemon for one of the pies, maybe the brownie pie? Um, okay, so blueberries, just because Cooper loves blueberries, so I got some of those. And then these are for the turkey. We have thyme, rosemary, and sage. So, alright, so this is some stuff that my mom needed, so she picked up, so I thought I would go ahead and include it since um, it was all in the same, same stuff. So this little lanyard, she got these for my cousins, little sleep masks, and also these little, I don't even know what these are, like nail stickers, I think. So definitely they had some good little stocking stuff for kids. Um, some mock, mock down, marked down donuts. I almost called these brownies. I'm losing my mind. And then a veggie tray for to put out um, while we're cooking dinner so people can snack. All right, so whew. then we got some clearance shoes. They had some good little stuff on clearance, so I got these for three dollars for Cooper for next year. I hope they're the right size. Um, she got this little ouchie pouchy for to take to school for your students, maybe. Okay. And um, I got these for myself. They're that like, really comfortable brand, but they're regular $25 and they're marked down to five. And I tried them on and they really are super comfortable. So they kind of, I don't know if everyone will think they're cute, but I think they're cute and they're like really comfortable. So I'm gonna do those. Um, these are for my mom's dogs, these little pill pockets. And this is for um, for it to do crafts, so Cooper can just start doing some crafts and painting and stuff like that, and I don't have to worry about it destroying my table. This is just a nice vinyl wipeable um, tablecloth that we can put out and let him have fun without it being stressful for me. Okay, so then let's go over to this side. Okay, so I decided last time I bought green beans at Aldi's. They like had the string in them and they were just really weird. I don't know if it was just a bad batch or if they just have bad green beans. So we decided not to risk it for Thanksgiving and we got four cans from Walmart. I'd be curious if you guys have experienced that too um, or if it was just a bad batch. Lady, my puppy dog's belly has been upset. So we have some plain yogurt here for her and then vanilla for, most. Cooper will eat it a lot but also just kind of for everyone. And then we got a couple sticks of the Kerrygold butter to put on the table for Thanksgiving. And this is some uh, semi-sweet chocolate for to chop up for the brownie pie. And then sour cream for the corn casserole. Okay, so 
Let's go, let's look at this stuff on the back. This we bought today, Cooper was already playing with it. As you saw, I set it up as soon as we got home so he could play with that while we did some stuff. Um, and it's really cute, I think he's really gonna like it a lot. And then we have just some, a gallon of, sorry guys, I'm having a hard time leaning over the table with my camera and being pregnant. Um, a gallon of the um, whole milk, a little half gallon of the eggnog, and then a um, little carton of creamer. I couldn't think of the word carton. I have two loaves of just the generic great value um, honey wheat bread. That's what we like the most. Um, I have some grape jelly here because we're doing also some meatballs in the crock pot for Thanksgiving while we're cooking. Um, and I already have the barbecue sauce, so that's all I needed for that. Some of these seventh generation chlorine free panty liners. I haven't tried these seventh generation, so I don't know how I will like them, but um, I wanted to try those. And then these Bell Vita breakfast bites and some snack packs and then two big things of sorry guys i'm trying to get the best angles i can two big things of apple juice and how many do six of the great value whipped topping and then the last few things are we got two of the um of the supreme of these pizzas and then one of the cheese. These were seemed like a really good price. I haven't ever tried them, but they were like $2.78. I'll put the price on the screen so you guys will know, but I think that's how much they cost. Um, and they, which is a pretty good deal for a frozen pizza. And then obviously the bag of meatballs for Thanksgiving. So, okay, sorry that everything wasn't in focus and not as good of shots as normal. Um, and I'm out of breath. But that's pregnancy and Sean's at work and I wanted to um, not let you guys skip out on all this stuff. I wanted you guys to be able to see it. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And check out my playlist of other grocery hauls and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.